Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Second Star to the Left. I'm Michelle, and this is my daughter, Billy. Hi. And here's where we'll share board game reviews, ramblings, and a few wrong turns along the scenic route. here for our July wrap up and just a fair warning July's been crazy it's been good crazy and bad crazy and just all kinds of crazy so this video might be crazy <laughs> <laughs> we didn't play as many games as we would have wanted to this month because sometimes when you have a month like this even when you have the time you don't have the spoons <laughs> yeah that's how Billy describes having the mental energy. <laughs> we did have enough energy to make this shirt that says yes. not enough spoons to play today. So what we're going to do is put this shirt on our site with all of our other merchandise. And if someone wants to purchase this shirt, we're going to give all of the profits to the National Alliance for Mental Illness. And that is an organization that's nonprofit and advocates for people who need help. So if you want to help in any way, or if you just want a cute shirt with meeples on spoons, then you can uh, check that link. I'll put all the information down below. So what did what did we do this month? It was crazy. It was very crazy. I let's, don't even remember. Let's start with what games came in this month. And we did actually order a lot of games, but we did get some Kickstarters and some pre-orders in. We can start with this one. We got, finally, Root, the Marauder expansion. Yay! And this is Root's last chance. <laughs> no, not well. I want to love Root very much. I mean, look at this game. Look at the art. I like everything about the idea of Root. And yet when I play it, I find myself just feeling overwhelmed. So this expansion allows for two-player version, and since we rarely well, I mean, have three... The other one, you can play it too, can't you? you? I think you can, but it's just not as good. And we have the clockwork, so I could play solo, but that's not going to happen, I don't mm. think. So this is Root's, <laughs> Root's last stand, I think. Uh, before it winds up on an episode of Keep, Cull, or Consider... Spoilers, and... I vote Keep. <laughs> And some people <laughs> never forgive us. Trust me, I, I will never forgive you. I want to love this game. I really do. So we're going to learn all the rules and give it a go and see what comes of it. <laughs> Next up, we have a trio of games. And we have Ghosts of Christmas and Dandelions and then Psychic Pizza Deliverers of Ghost Town. Or Psy ghost. Psychic Pizza Deliverers Go to Ghost Town. We just call it Psychic Pizza because this is a very <laughs> long name. So these all came from BoardGameTables.com and we're really excited to get them except that two out of three of them call for three players or more. So that's going to take a little bit longer to get to the table. But, but eventually. Eventually, yeah. We're, um, Especially I think, it goes to Christmas. Yeah, we'll I get think that this one I'm the most excited about because it's a trick-taking game. But Dandelions is just a sweet little game, and we can play this anytime. We just haven't gotten a chance to yet. I did mention crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one up is one that I talked about a little bit in Small Space, and that is Pocket Master Builder, which is this teeny tiny game that takes up a ton of space on the table. And Pocket Master Builder I've played once so far. We're still, Verdict's still out. I, I like the idea of this game. I like how small it is that I could throw this kind of... Uh, building city building game right in my pocket and go somewhere we're still figuring out the rules so no no real review yet but this one did come in this month you, you it was a rules duck kind of game it is a rules duck hey rules duck it is a rules duck kind of game and also it's very busy <laughs> on the table and just kind of for how small a game it is, it's a, it takes up a lot of space. There's a bit of information overload, and that could be just because I'm learning it, so we'll hold off on that one still. The next <laughs> is three games, which I really only needed two of, but I am terrible at ordering things, and that is Oh My Goods. And what I wanted to order was Longsdale in Revolt so that I could play solo, but what I actually ordered first was Escape to Canyon Brook, which is the expansion for the expansion. 
<laughs> I did actually Dummy. get a chance. To... What? I did actually get a chance to play this, and I really enjoyed this one. I still have to play it a few more times to kind of get the rhythm of the game down and not have to check the iconography and the rules all the time. But this one is a nice little compact game of like resource management. Is it solo only or do you hate me? No, it's not. So the expansions are solo, but uh -huh. the but the game itself oh, so is for two play. Hey mom, do you want to play Oh My Goods? That never came out of your mouth. <laughs> you never I didn't know it was Did you, did you, I thought it was a solo. Zip game. It. There was a lot of solo games this <laughs> month because remember spoons they were Lots in, of solo they games. were in short supply this they month. were it was a very low spoons month the next one is a solo version of a game that i like very much and that is 11 z's for one and this one is it's cute but it doesn't have quite the charm of the original game there's no, no i mean there's something about the original game where you're even the take that is just very polite <laughs> I don't know. It's cute. There's sugar cubes and tea services. And we are going to do a whole video on games that are good with a cup of tea. So expect to see this and the original in that. Next is one that I've talked about a bit this month, mm -hmm. which is Grove, which I played, I think, four or five times the night I got it. And it is the successor to Orchard. And I love this game. I love them both. Neither of them are leaving the collection. But this is just a small, sweet, solitaire game. It is just perfect when you just want to sit down and play a really quick little solitaire game. And it has squirrels instead of rotten fruit, and I appreciate that. Plus nice. it has recipes like lemonade and cherry tarts and things. It's, it's adorable, and it's just perfect for when you just need to sit down and relax with a quick solitaire. Next, we have a Kickstarter that I was waiting for and very excited about, and that is The Light in the Mist. I think you actually backed this one without me. I don't know much about it. I know. This is a tarot puzzle tale where you're working through a series of puzzles using a tarot deck that is in here with just beautiful art. And when you're done, you have a tarot deck. So win-win. <laughs> um, it's I'm really intrigued by this one. I'm thinking of maybe bringing it on vacation because it's the kind of thing you could dig into and, and play. It's solo, but I'm pretty sure we could do it co-op, so it would be fine. And the adventures, I believe, don't even have to be in order. I'm not sure that it's actually a campaign. It's just kind of a series of puzzles and adventures throughout the deck. So I'm really looking forward to digging into this one. Last but certainly not least is Libertalia Winds of Galecrest, which we're very excited to get. Airships. Airships and pirates. And this was provided by Stonemeyer Games, so we are really looking for it. I already read the rules. <laughs> I set everything up. I am thrilled that the insert is beautiful. You know how much I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that makes me happy. So organizing this game is almost as much fun as playing it for me. I have issues. Billy says maybe not next week, <laughs> maybe tonight or tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted, but this one's going to hit the table very soon. And we're really excited to finally get to play this one. So those are the games that came in this month, despite our not getting a lot played. But we did play some. We played some new ones yes. and some old ones. So what was your favorite game that we played this month? Castle Party, easily. <laughs> I'm game. pretty sure any month that we play Castle Party is a month that Billy chooses Castle Party as her favorite game that we play. At least top three each month. It's such a fun little game. It's a nice roll and write with the most adorable ghosts and vampires. It's so cute and so spooky. It is one of the only spooky games that we consistently play outside of spooky season. It is. The others we kind of hold on to until spooky season, like and little play treasures. All at once. But we play Castle Party all year. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Divine. <laughs> my favorite game that we played this month was one that i waited a very long time to play and when i say i waited a very long time i mean i set it up in the table and it sat in the game table for a week or so it was a low spoons month it was a low spoons month but also it looks like a much bigger much more complicated game than it is it was not that complicated was it no it was not it was easy and that is wonderland's oh, war it wasn't easy to win but it was easy to learn i'm sorry is that because you didn't win i did very well you sure <laughs> <laughs> 
I adored Wonderland's War, and now that we've played through it, I think that it will get more time on the table. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially since Billy doesn't set it up or put it away, so um. that part of it is fine. We do not have the deluxe edition. We put coin capsules on the little discs that go in the bag, which felt they worked great. Coin <laughs> capsules are little plastic cases that go around the cardboard discs that make them feel like the premium chips, even when you missed out on the <laughs> premium <laughs> version. It's close. They're very nice. But they, they were great. They made a nice clacky sound when you reached in your bag. Mm -hmm. They all came out great for me. I didn't have any problem with the chips. It's like card sleeves for tokens. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. No, 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 wait. I, we were going we're gonna to talk about Gen Con. But, but I also had a favorite game that I played this month that was not on the table but was on BGA. And that is Nanga Parbit. And if I said that wrong, I that's close, right? You know you probably did. It was so much fun. You have all these tiny little animeeples and you're you're trapping the animals, which sounds mean, but it is not. Because then you just trade them in for goods and services. No, Explain I, how that's not mean. It's it's um, We're relocating them for their... No, it's probably butcher. Mean. They're not. It never says that. They just, are relocated to my plate. You're climbing up the mountains and you're setting up camps and you're making collections of animals. I love this game. I've only played it a handful of times, but it is quickly becoming a favorite on BGA. So you know how to find me on BGA. All of that information is down there. If you want to play, let me know. I'm happy to play this one. <laughs> so like I said, I am headed to Gen Con this week. And I am not. And Billy is not. So, but we did make a list together of everything that we want to check out. And Billy has some very strong opinions on what I need to go check out for her as yes. well. Although I don't think we disagree on anything no, on you, this list. You want pretty much everything on my list. I too. do. I do. So we're going to just quickly run through some of the things that we're going to check out or I'm going to check out and then... <laughs> message Billy while we're at Gen Con. The first one on my list is Twilight Inscription, which is the roll and write version of Twilight Imperium. And I'm pretty sure it might be the heaviest roll and write ever. And also the only way that I'm going to ever get to play Twilight Imperium. That's very possible. We do own fourth edition. We do, but it's been here for years. Yeah. Years. And yeah. we haven't played it, so I'm really hoping that this is our way in to Twilight Imperium. I'm still I'm still holding that hope one day. One, one day. day. One day. So what's first on your list? Oceans. Legends of the Deep. Or is it legend? It's legends. I was right. <laughs> Multiple legends. Many legends. I am so surprised. Only one deep, though. That an expansion to Oceans would be top <laughs> of your list. So you're telling me that... It's out of nowhere. Uh, you would like me to look into an expansion for your favorite game? Yes. Okay. I'm stunned. The cover looks amazing, oh, though. It looks so cool. Yeah. Put it up on the screen for them. I, I will find a copy of the <laughs> cover. Like I said, we don't have all the information about these games. That's why we're going to go check them out at Gen Con. Put it on the screen again. Okay, once on the screen, I think. <laughs> the next one that I'm super excited about is fit to print because the idea of woodland creatures running a newspaper is too much to pass up and then on top of that from what i've seen of the game it looks amazing i i'm really excited to try and fit all the articles and ads into the paper it looks really really great i'm really hoping to try this one out if possible but if not at least get to talk to them and get a look at it this was one of the ones on the top of my list. What do you got next? Anno 1800, the <laughs> video game of which we both have, like, tons of hours in. Okay, I have some hours. You have you... several dozen hours. Okay, but you have how many hours? I think, like, 200-something. Yeah, so a lot. Anyway, it's a very good video game, and I'm very excited for the board game version. It yep. looks like it's really well done. Yeah, it is a game that we have spent a lot of time with, so um, I, I'm interested to see how they turn that into a board game, mm -hmm. but I'm, the theme itself is good, and we already like the way the game works. Let's just see how it translates into cardboard Try next again. on my list is that <laughs> old wallpaper which we saw a little bit about a ways back and i was really excited because i thought it was coming right out and then they make me wait i have to wait but it's a, a card game where you're matching patterns of uh like retro wallpaper i absolutely adore the patterns and the colors and the theme of this game and side note my husband hangs wallpaper <laughs> 
living. So we're re- this one is easily one of the ones that we're most excited to see. It's right up our alley too. It's a light card game with pattern matching. So we'll know if yes, they got please. the lore wrong. <laughs> the lore of wallpaper. We will know. <laughs> Next up is Mistwind, which immediately caught my eye with its cover because flying whales. Because flying whales. Sky whales and airships are a surefire way to get me to buy almost anything. But the game itself looks really neat. Yeah, we saw this um, uh, Emma's for Meeple. We're talking about it and we were scribbling down the name so that we could go <laughs> check it out. So I will make sure that I stop by and check it out for you. Thank you. Take lots of pictures. Next up is another one that I theme alone loved and then saw a picture of and I will need to have this game. It's called Trailblazers. And not only is it this amazing game about hiking and kayaking and camping, but oh, yeah, it's so compact. Cool. I can actually put this in my kayak and go out and I'm, I wouldn't advise that but you could I don't tip <laughs> you do sometimes no, I tip. don't I don't so but Getting I'm in and out of the kayak I've heard stories that is different than tipping <laughs> <laughs> shush you uh, but this is another one where just on theme alone I'm all in and the fact that it it comes in this tiny little case that you can bring anywhere so if you mm-hmm. are camping or hiking or kayaking You can bring it with you. It's Mm -hmm. amazing. Looking forward to that one a lot. (laughs) What's fourth on your list here? I mean, they're not in any order, so... No, yeah. uh, I could barely choose the ones. (laughs) I think they're just uh, in the order that you wrote them down on your to-visit list. As you found them. Just keep putting them in the list, yeah. Um, Next is Guild of Merchant Explorers. Yeah. Looks like a really fun... What, what did they say? Route, route building? Route building. Yeah. It looks really cool. I've seen a lot of people playing this, so now Plus I'm tiles. even... tiles. Yeah, I'm even more interested now that I've seen people kind of playing it and enjoying it. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to check that out. It might come home. You don't know. Oh, it's definitely coming home. The last one on my list is... Both of these lists are coming home if they let us have them. The, well, not all of them are available yet. Right. Some but of them are going to be Kickstarter. Any that some... are for sale, I imagine will be coming home. I am bringing a very big suitcase, and they do ship home. <laughs> the last one on my list is Ahoy from Leader Games, which, you know, despite Root and I having a somewhat tenuous relationship, <laughs> we loved Fort, and I'm really looking forward to Ahoy, so... I love and Root. Arcs, so... I love Root. I know you do. And I don't... I do not dislike Root. I, I love just... you, Leader. Forgive her. <laughs> I just forgive her. I haven't ever really clicked with it. I always just feel like I make a choice, not the right choice, and then everybody just beats me up in a clearing. So, so you're just you just don't like it because you're bad at it. Yes. Well, then no. you wouldn't like a lot of you a lot, a lot of board games if that was the. I almost said video games. All right, what's your last one? Uh, unmatched Houdini versus Genie. More and unmatched, please. It looks really exciting. And I, we play this, I think, more than any other game. Yeah, unmatched. Un, unmatched is one of our most played games just because we're so familiar with it and it's so easy to just pull out. And it's even going to be easier once oh, those yeah. storage things come and we could just pick cubes out and play them. So. Plus, did you see... I mean, of course you saw. You sent me the email. Also, unmatched is going to be on Steam. It's going to be digital so we can play it any time. Even more Still often. so excited about that. So that is our month, and actually it's what's coming up a little bit in August as we head out to Gen Con. Don't forget to enter our giveaway from our anniversary video. If you didn't see that, you can... Giveaways. Giveaways. Three of them. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see... Or if you'd like to keep watching until we get one right. Then please like, subscribe, and share. If you want to find us elsewhere on social media or you'd like to support us on our Patreon, all of that information will be down below. As always, open tables, open minds, and play yourselves. Bye. You can't see it, but I'm wearing my Thinker Themer shirt. <laughs> Glitter coin capsules. The plastic things I put around them. I know what they are. You should tell them. Oh, for God's sake. Not everyone know. knows what coin capsules are. I didn't before you bought them. I don't know. Um, Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me things. <laughs>